So this is the perfectly ripe fruit. It already fell. You see the core comes out when they're when they're fully ripe. This tree is one of several that we have on our property. Um, we brought seeds back from Thailand. Uh, this is the fourth year since we planted the seeds. And as you can see, we've got quite a few fruits. Um, and some of them are actually ready to pick. Why don't you come in a little closer? So with sugar apples, you're looking for the, well, first you'll see a little bit of a color change, but you'll also look for the, the little lobes that start to separate. As you can see, this one even has like a little bit of a pinkish color. Um, I just had one that was uh, ripe right on the tree, so we're going to start harvesting a few of these and just see what see what we end up with. See there. Now you notice these have kind of a funny shape, like some of the cells are small, some of them are big. And that's because I did not hand pollinate these. These were pollinated by whatever insects or wind or whatever was around here. So that's what we ended up with. I don't remember them having this pink color. That's pretty cool. It's almost like they're glowing. How many trees do we have in this yard of sugar apples? I think we have three. This one's in a little bit more shade and I'm noticing the fruits aren't as far along. So we're going to move on to the next tree in the back. I'm busy eating. Let's see it. So this is the perfectly ripe fruit. It already fell. You see the core comes out when they're when they're mm -hmm. fully ripe. This one was actually sitting on the ground like that and it must have just happened because there's no ants on it which is pretty surprising. Well I'll be eating half of that. It smells amazing. This one actually is pretty much perfect little fruit. Mm. I'll have that one for dessert. A couple not nice ones on it. This I think this is the biggest tree, right? Looks like the most productive one. That is a beautiful. The beauty. So as you can see, this this I just peeled this um, sugar apple. This has nothing to do with an apple. That's just the name, sugar apple. Hmm. These are related to uh, cherimoya. It's a type of anona. They're also related to soursop. Um, and there's a few other ones in that in that um, family. But the, the uh, sugar apple is what grows the best here in Florida. Um, they grow true to seed. Really easy to grow. They'll fruit within the first three years. This is year four for us. So year four is when you really get a pretty good crop. Um, that year three is going to be just a few, but um, really good fruit. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a, going to a little tasting with some friends, and I've got a friend that's got a purple variety, I've got another friend with a red variety, I've got my green from Thailand, um, so we're going to kind of compare and contrast, and probably trade some seeds. But uh, anyway, that's what's ripening here in Florida, and uh, see you next time.